Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in the comments below. And today we're going to be looking at a place value worksheet. Let's remind ourselves of some really important things when it comes to place value. When you see the number 12, what do you think? Do you just see 12 or can you see what 12 is really made of? Let's take a closer look. I know that the two is in the ones place. And when I see a number in the ones place, I know the number is really just representing itself. Two means two for real, and it's represented by the number two or with two cubes. If we look to the tens place, we'll see the number one. Although this one doesn't just represent anything, it represents one ten. You know, this one really is ten, or one long, which is made up of ten individual cubes. So when I see the number 10, I know that one in the tens place really means 10 or 110, not just one. But the two in the ones place really just means two or two ones. So with that information in mind, let's read the directions and get started right away. Bubble matching fun. Trace on the dotted lines between the bubbles that represent the same number. Okay, let's look at the first example. I see the number 11, and it's represented by 110 and 11. Let's write the number 11 and take a closer look. Well, if I set up my 10s and 1s place value chart, I see that in the 1s place there's just 1. That's represented by 1 cubed, or 1 1. It's written as the number 1, and we mean it. If you look at the 1 in the 10s place, I know that's made up of 110. 110 really represents 10 cubes or one long. So if I look back at the answer choice and I see 110 and 11, I know that that's correct. That is the same thing as 11. Let's go ahead and trace on that dotted line. Let's look at our next example, 15. Again, let's take a closer look at the number 15. We'll make our place value chart of tens and ones. In the ones place, I see five. That can be represented by five cubes, or the number five, or we could just say five ones. The one in the tens place, again, represents one ten. One ten can be represented by a long, the number ten, or ten individual cubes. So, now let's look at the answer choice and see, is 15 really being represented the right way? Well, when I look at the answer choice, I see five tens. I already know this isn't correct, because in the number 15, I only have one 10. And there's also one one, and that's not correct because I remember there were five ones. Let's not trace on the dotted line because this answer choice is not correct. Let's look at our next number, 17. Let's have a closer look. For the number 17, we'll make our place value chart of 10s and 1s. I see the number 7 in the 1s place, so that represents 7 1s. It can be written with 7 cubes, or we can just write 7 1s. 7 means 7. In the 10s place, we have the number 1 again, and again that represents 1 10. We could also show this with 1 long, or 10 individual cubes. This could also be written as the number 10. So I know in this number 17, I have one 10 and seven ones. Again, let's check our answer choice. I see seven tens and seven ones. This is not the correct answer, so we should not trace on this dotted line. Let's look at the next number. We have 16. How many ones and tens are made up of the number 16? Do you know by this point? Well, let's make our place value chart to see. We'll set it up with tens and ones. How many ones are there? Well, I see the number six, so I know that there are six ones, because when a number is in the ones place, it just represents itself. If I look to the tens place, I see the number one. I know that one in the tens place really shows a 10. There's one 10 there, so we can write it as 10 
we could write 110, we could show it as a long, because all of these things really just represent the number 10. So let's check our answer choice. I see the answer choice is 110, and that's good because we have 110, and six ones, and that's good because there are six ones. This is correct, so let's trace on the dotted line. Finally, our last number is 13. We know that we have tens and ones. In the number 13, there are three ones. It can be represented by writing three ones, or by writing three cubes, or just the number three. Three means three. The ones place doesn't mess around. In the tens place, we have one ten. I know that because there is just number one, and it is in the tens place. So this could be represented by the number 10, by one long, which of course has 10 cubes, or by writing 110. So let's check our answer choice to see if this is correct. I see 110, and again, that's correct. And I see three ones, and again, that's the same too. So 13 is represented by 110 and three ones. Remember, boys and girls, when you're trying to figure out another way how to represent numbers, you can make a nice place value chart. You can represent numbers by putting them inside the place value chart and writing their real value outside of the place value chart. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. We'll see you next time. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.